Hey everyone, welcome to Matt Simplified. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the best music photography lenses for beginners that don't break the bank. You don't need the best lenses out there. You just need the lenses that will do the job. And these are the easiest ones to get started with. Now, before we start, do you need the most expensive gear? Does gear matter? Well, gear matters to a degree, right? But I met a guy once that had $15,000 worth of gear. And I said to him, oh, hey man, how do you afford that if you just started out? And he said to me, oh, I just got a, a zip loan. Or I just got a loan. And I'm like, okay, are you gonna pay that back? Oh, with the money I make from this, how much are you getting paid? Oh, I haven't got paid anything yet. Well, how long you been doing it for? Oh, like three to six months. I'm like, there's not that much money in music photography, full stop. You have to be really creative with it. And that's not so much of a problem, right? If he wants $15,000 worth of gear, get $15,000 worth of gear. But really his photos, while they were like, you know, I'm not saying they were bad, they were like, they were fine, but they were just fine because he didn't really know how to edit yet because he had just started. So $15,000 worth of gear doesn't shorten your editing time. It doesn't make your photos any better because a lot of the benefit of, you know, a lot of sort of the, the point of difference is in the editing phase. And so you can get any of these lenses and you will immediately be at that point because gear doesn't really matter. It's all in the creative choices you make in the technique and in the editing. So don't worry about the most expensive lenses. I mean, you're talking about like once, once you're ready to evolve into like a, you know, a more expensive lens, you're really talking about a, a marginal amount of difference that isn't going to make that much difference in the end goal of your photos. So you may as well just start with these. I started with these and I think they produce great results. So let's just jump straight into it. And this is lens number one that I would recommend. So the first one is the Canon EF 50 millimeter F 1.8 version two. It also has a version one, both are the same. They're both pretty much plastic and that makes them cheap. You know, you can get this for like, you know, 100, 200 bucks. It's not expensive. This is one of the first lenses that I started with. The reason why this is a great lens is because it opens up all the way to 1.8. So it has an aperture f-stop of 1.8, which means it opens super wide, which lets heaps of light in. And obviously when we're shooting gig photography, there's hardly any light. You know, you've got beams of light firing everywhere, but you need it to open really wide so you can keep your shutter speed high. So why this is a good lens is it only comes out, you know, probably about that much. It's not a big lens. Uh, it's easy to replace if it gets damaged. It opens wide, it focuses fast. This is my number one lens. And you can use this for heaps of other things too. Like if you're not sure if you wanna go down the music photography route, you can use this lens for portraits because the bokeh or bokeh, whatever you wanna call it, is beautiful on this lens. So it's great for portraits, it's great for street photography because it's small, number one lens, the 50 millimeter 1.8. The second lens that I would recommend is the Sigma F 1.4 art lens. Now this is the most expensive lens out of these three that I'd recommend. It sits at around sort of 600 to 900 bucks. It's not the cheapest lens, but at the same time, this lens opens to 1.4. So again, wider than the 1.8 that we looked at. It's a bit longer. It's about this long. Uh, and it focuses really fast and it's really sharp. It is so sharp. This thing has the clarity of a Canon L lens. So if we're talking about the 2000, like I've got a lens that cost me 2,500 bucks. I prefer this lens. This lens focuses faster. It's 35 millimeters. And I reckon 35 millimeters is better than 50 millimeters. And the reason I think that is because one day everyone told me that, I say everyone, like everyone in the world, they all got together and they said, hey, the Canon 50 millimeter is the same as your vision. Like what you can see is 50 millimeters. And then I, I tried it and I'm like, no, it's kind of like this. So 35 millimeters, I think is more like what you can naturally see. 
Um, and even then, it's probably not that wide, unless I've got super wide vision and can see everything. I reckon the 35 is closer to it than the 50 millimeter. Again, like I said, it's a little bit bigger, but it, it lets in a lot more light. So again, your shutter speed can go faster. Uh, this is my lens of choice. Like if you have the 50 millimeter and you outgrow that one, I think start with the 50 millimeter and then move into the Sigma 35 art series. The other art lenses are great too, but I find the 35 millimeter is just that sweet spot. It's not weather sealed. So even though it's more expensive, it's not weather sealed. So if you get anything spilled on it, it's a little bit more expensive to replace. But having said that, there's been a lot of things that have spilled on my Sigma lens and it still functions just fine. If I'm to go out and I don't really know what I'm shooting, this is the lens that I take. And finally, number three, the Canon EF 40 millimeter F 2.8. So this opens the, the least wide out of all of them, but it also is a little stub. It only comes out about this far. It's great. And it also focuses the slowest. So this sounds like a lot of negatives, right? But this thing is so sharp you really wanna check this lens out. It's around about 200 bucks. It focuses slow because it's actually built for uh, filming with the way that the, the autofocus works. But this lens here has done a lot of my portrait stuff with music because it's just like really sharp and you generally don't wanna open, you know, wider than 2.8 when you're doing portrait stuff anyway. Um, that's just my personal preference. But because this one only comes out a really small amount, this lens is absolutely, you know, unbeatable at the price point and, uh, you know, the portability of it. And plus, it's just a funny lens, right? Like, it's just this funny little nub lens, this chode lens, uh, but I highly recommend it. So those are the three lenses that I recommend. You've got the Canon EF 50mm 1.8 2. You've got the Sigma 1.4 art lens and you have the Canon EF 40 millimeter 2.8. If you buy any of those lenses, you're gonna be able to do music photography and you're gonna figure out what works for you and you're gonna be able to make better decisions on what you wanna do with your music photography long-term. Okay, do I need a wider lens? Do I need one that does this? Do I need one that does that? Like what specialty lenses do I need? If you start out with any of these, there's no reason why you can't do music photography. Good luck.